Hello, welcome to another Facebook Friday. It's another Free Lychee Friday. And oh my goodness, who's ready for all this to be over with, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. I just have to say, honestly, I really needed this today. So thank you. As people start popping on, I want to say thank you to every single one of you for joining me uh, on the live or later watching later on our Facebook group or on YouTube. Thank you so much for being with me here today. Because like I said, I really needed this. This, You know, you kind of go through the ups and downs of all of this craziness and I don't know, I've just kind of been feeling a little meh. So anyway, I'm really happy to have gotten up and worked out and gotten a shower and like put some clothes on. Although I have a funny like thought of like, I think everyone should post um, what they're like, coronavirus like stay at home shelter in place outfit is because I because I know I have one it's not this but it's pretty close so the super cozy clothes right so hello as everybody's hopping on uh yeah anyway so hey Nancy hey Philomena I think Jamie popped on there was somebody else's name and I missed it I'm so sorry say hello and I'll know who it was that I missed so yeah so hopefully you guys had a good week everybody's kind of hanging in there um there's talk that um at least here in Michigan, the governor had um, issued, you know, the stay at home order for us until April 30th. And now everybody's kind of chattering about probably more like middle of May. So we just keep plugging along, right? So, and Philomena, thank you for the share. I appreciate that. And Rosemary, good to see you. Yes, good morning to you, Miss Nancy. We do need this gathering. You are right. Yes, I needed it and you guys probably all need it too. So, hey, Erin, welcome. I'm glad you can join us too. So, yeah, thank you guys. Um, so just so you know, if you're watching, um, if you've never watched before, we go live right here, <clears throat> excuse me, on our Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group every Friday at 11.30 a.m. If you can't catch us live, you can watch the recording here on the Facebook group on my Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio business page or on the YouTube channel, the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio YouTube channel. That is a mouthful, right? I feel like I need to like abbreviate that, the GIS. Gee, I, <laughs> I think that's what it would be. Anyway, so yeah, so join us every single Friday. We are right here because what else do we have to do, especially right now, right? And we always feature a product of the week. So on our Facebook group, sorry, I have like, my eyelashes are sticking together. <clears throat> this week we have been featuring the Ornate Thanks stamp set. So this is a brand new stamp set that you can get already out of our next annual catalog, but you can't buy anything else from it until, I think it's like June 3rd or June 4th. So we still have a little while, but they kind of did a pre-release of the Ornate Garden Bundle Suite, I guess it is, because it's a couple of different stamp sets and dies and an embossing folder and designer series paper and ribbon gems, all kinds of good stuff. Hey, Nikki, hello, glad you can be here with us. So anyway, we've been featuring fun projects all week long with our product of the week, the Ornate Thanks stamp set. Hey, Sharon. So I am also going to demonstrate a couple of projects with this awesome stamp set later on in our Facebook Live. You can hop over to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com after the YouTube video or the Facebook Live video is done here. Um, this afternoon, I will upload all the pictures of the projects that I demonstrated, um, the item codes for all the products that we used in case there's anything that you would like to order to make the projects, um, the dimensions, colors, everything that you need to know to recreate the projects. And I also do a drawing at the um, on our Facebook Lives too, where you will get your name in the drawing to win um, well, win a stamp set or a giveaway or something, and then you also get the make and takes that I demonstrate later on on Facebook Live. Just have to put at least a $30 order in and you always get those projects. Hey, Kathy, hello, welcome, welcome. Yes, good morning, ladies, good morning, everyone. So glad everyone can be here with us. So, yeah, um, okay, that's kind of the basic, right, of what we have going on. So, let's see. What do I want to show you guys first? So I actually received a couple of um, fun cards in the mail and I love this because this is what we're doing right now. Like when we, we, hey, Sherilyn, we need that kind of pick me up, right? Um, 
And so we're, we are making cards and sending them to each other. So I have to show you, I love, this is the beautiful um, Magnolia Suite from the annual catalog. So we've got Thinking of You, if you can read that backwards, right? And the beautiful um, designer series paper and the stamps. And this was just a fun card from my friend Maria. And she just says, hi, Amy, I hope you and your family are safe and healthy. Just wanted you to know I was thinking about you and thought a card was better than an email. Yes, of course. So thank you. Thank you, Miss Maria. I just really appreciate that. Um, the beautiful, yeah, I love this magnolia paper. It's going to be sad, right? Um, speaking of sad, the retiring lists are out. I'm saying sad because that paper is retiring. Bunches of stuff, lots and lots of stuff is retiring, right? Um, so actually, let me mention that now while I'm kind of, that's on my brain. So <clears throat> earlier this week, the retiring lists or the last chance, whatever they're called, every, every time I feel like it's a little bit different. Anyway, the last chance products, um, whatever. Basically, it's the list of everything that we will not be able to order any longer. I know it is a beautiful card, isn't it, Philomena? Um, anything that we can't order from the annual catalog, the current annual catalog, or the spring mini catalog. So there are PDFs that are, okay, super teeny tiny print. Um, I would suggest if you want to look in page number order, that PDF is kind of the best way to go. You can go to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and I have links to both of the PDFs that are like in page number order. And that's what I used. I like to sit down with my catalog and flip through it and highlight everything. So I was looking at that page number list. So if that's the way you like to do that, go to my blog, like I said, at gatheringinspiration.com and the links are right there to download the PDFs. Now they are small, so if you can enlarge them, that's awesome. Uh, print them, use a magnifying glass. I don't know why they had to make it so small. I guess because there's just so much information. Um, the other way though is if you just like to see pictures like of everything that's retiring, just go to stampinup.com, click on shop, and then um, it's like the big banner. It says last chance products or something like that. Just click on that. It's also over on the left hand side, the list. Again, it's like last chance products. Click on that and it's like A to Z pictures of every single product that is retiring that is still available. Once it's not available, you won't see the picture of it on stampinup.com. So that's the only thing if you're looking at the um, page number PDF lists. Um, those, I don't know how often they update those um, with what's not available any longer. So just know that. And there are things that are on huge, huge discount. <laughs> yes, Nikki's saying, right, so tiny. I know, I know. I, I I laughed like I posted on our other Inspired Stampers Facebook group. I was literally like at my computer with my readers on trying to read and then I'd look down at my um, catalog and I'd highlight and it was like literally up and down and up and down and I felt like motion sick after like an hour of going back and forth like that. It was like, I got up and I was like, am I starting to get sick? And then I realized, no, it was that up and down <laughs> with my head and eyes. So I don't recommend doing that. Um, find a better way to do that. But hey, Judy, good morning. Um, so yeah, retiring list. So um, I was saying lots of things are discounted. So get those, especially while you can, because those are gonna be the things that will go super quickly. Anything that's not full price any longer, um, apparently, I don't know, Stampin' Up! has a lot of it, so they wanna get rid of it. It. So check those lists out. If you have any questions, please let me know. I believe it's funny because I saw some conflicting information. Stamp sets are guaranteed to be available. I, it's either May 15th or May 22nd, and I've seen two different dates in two different places. So just to be safe, let's say it's May 15th. So just get your ducks in a row and make sure you get an order in for stamps by May 15th. Everything else is while supplies last. So ribbon, embellishments, dyes, any of that stuff, when it's gone, it's gone. So keep that in mind and get your order in while you can. It's just, this is like a crazy time, right? To think of all the things that are gonna go away. Um, but that's okay, we have a fun new catalog coming too. So we'll talk about that later because we can't really order from it right now. So, um, okay, but actually I wanted to show you, I have a couple more cards to show you guys. I got off on the tangent because of that paper um, on that card, that designer series paper. But same thing with this one. This is a beautiful card that says, enjoy the little things. And actually this mosaic designer series paper and that leaf punch are both retiring. Trying to see if there's anything else on here. I wasn't really thinking about doing that, but 
Um, those are stitch shaped squares and I've not layered like that too. So this is a card from Diana, one of my downline. Um, she sent this to me um, and I love, I love that layering. You guys can see that, right? The stitched squares. It's three different stitch, stitched squares there. Hey, Bonnie. Hello, hello. So beautiful card there too. So thank you, Diana, for that card. And then Miss Sharon, who is local here. I think you're watching, Sharon. She um, picked up, oh, I think it was some make and takes. I know, Jamie, the leaf punch is leaving. I know, because it's such a good, simple kind of add-on that you just, yeah, yeah, I know those. Plus punches are just so handy, right? Because you can just grab them and punch, punch, punch. You know, it's so much work to crank your die cutting machine. <laughs> I do feel like that sometimes though. So, hey, Lori, hello. Thank you for joining us. Um, okay, so back to what I was saying. Sharon, so I've been putting stuff out on my porch orders for people as they've come in. We're doing like porch pickup. So anyway, Sharon picked up some stuff one day and then later um, dropped off some stuff for me. So I thought that was kind of cute. It was a porch drop off instead of a porch pickup, right? I know, Philomena, the mosaic paper. Usually, oh, you cut off. Oh, oh, she's on right now. Lori, I didn't even, yeah, I'm not very good at paying attention to that stuff. I always get the scoop. I laugh, you know, I've said this before. I just get the update from my sister later on what's going on in the world. I just live in my own little house, basically. Uh, the kids and I just kind of do our own thing. And yeah, then I get updates from my sister about what's going on like outside of the house. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, so Sharon did a porch drop off. And so I have to show you because I love, so this is another card. Of course, it's featuring um, the pie designer series paper right there and there. This is not a cool window and then it actually is like a fold so it opens up and you can kind of it'll kind of um, kind of catch on there I guess. I don't know what's the right terminology for that and let's see hers on the in says, inside says wishing, wishing you a lovely day. So isn't that a great sentiment too. So super cute little kind of a not accordion. Oh I don't know. Anyway, it's just cool. Thank you, Sharon. That was fun to get that. And then she actually, so she said, um, here are a couple of things I cased from my YouTube wanderings. She likes to do that. Um, <laughs> she says, I'm sorry I didn't have any chocolate because I always, of course, like to put candy in everybody's stuff. So, but then look at these little, oops. Here, I'll show you this one since that one fell. So this is actually, um, I think this is a lot of retiring product, but I love the idea here. So she's got the little paper clip and the little flag and the little tassel. We do have some current tassels in different colors, part of that um, uh, best dressed suite. But isn't this so cute? Just a little, um, little paper clip, little decorated paper clip. And then this one is fun too. And it says, hello, hello. So easel, that's what it is, Philomena. Yeah, I don't know. I like lose my mind when I get on here. Like the brain cells just kind of all shrivel up. <laughs> they usually come back afterwards, but not during. So anyway, but I just thought those little babies were so cute with the little tassels and paper clips. So thank you, Sharon. You made my day with your little porch drop off. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me scoot that stuff out of the way. Uh, there we go. Okay. So what else is going on? Let's do our first drawing. Yeah, I think, I think we're ready for that, right? Trying to stay, <laughs> never ending, stay organized, right? Okay, so we are going to draw, first of all, for our champagne rhinestones. With <laughs> you deserve some gifts, that's cute. We all deserve gifts, right, Sharon? We all do, yeah, so thank you very much. Um, but I'm pretty sure that these are retiring. I'm, I, I wanna say, isn't that awful? I can't, I can't. Hold on, I'm gonna grab my catalog that, that has been highlighted and I can check that. Cause those were something that I was really hoping would carry over. It was that and then the ribbon too, that petal pink ribbon with the metallic edge on it. That's part of the Parisian suite that was from a few. No, they're not. Okay, that's what I was, I was getting confused. So the petal pink metallic edge ribbon is retiring. Um, good, thank you, Jamie. Yes, that's what it, cause um, it's not highlighted. And usually, huh, thank you guys. Thanks, Barb, I appreciate that. Yes, the champagne rhinestones, awesome. Okay, I'm doing like the happy dance cause I love these rhinestones. Yes, okay, so good. So they're not retiring, um, but somebody's gonna win a package right this hot minute. Okay, so 
your name is in the drawing here if you shared the Facebook Live video or if you are new and signed up to my email list. There's a link on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com to sign up for my email list. I highly recommend that because that is my kind of best form of communication. I find that most people use email more than anything else. So I like to email you to keep you updated on things. So make sure if you're not already an email subscriber that you pop on over to gatheringinspiration.com and sign up for that. When you sign up, you'll get a free tutorial, a free PDF tutorial um, if you have not signed up before. So, okay, here we go and share the video. Share, share, share that video. Thank you. I appreciate your shares. Okay, so winner of the champagne rhinestones, you guys can see me, I'm like keep shaking, 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 is Miss Becky White. She's a good sharer. Very good share. So Miss Becky, congratulations. I will get those, where did I put them? Champagne rhinestones mailed out to you. Okay, <clears throat> I got to get ready for my next drawing as well. But in the meantime, what are we giving away? This week, if you share the video or sign up for my email list, you are going to get your name in the drawing to win. This is the Crushed Curry Crinkled Seam Binding Ribbon. So this is a beautiful kind of golden honey yellow ribbon that I love. So it's that kind of crinkly, um, I don't, I don't know how to, it um, looks a little weathered or vintage, vintage um, but it's super fun to play with and it makes great bows too. Uh, you can even like take the ribbon and squinch it up a lot so it's super crinkly. So fun ribbon to play with. So this is what we'll give away on next week's Facebook Live. And I'm pretty sure this one is retiring because I thought, oh, I got to get this out to somebody um, before it retires, right? So we'll draw for this next week, okay? And I think I saw Miss Erin Miller on here, so I have to give a shout out. We have two of our Inkspired Stampers that bought the starter kit just during celebration that have already reached qualified recruit status, which is when they get to $900 in sales. So congratulations to Erin Miller, and I want to make sure, um, where's my list? Yes, and Kelly Oldham. Both of those gals already reached $900 in sales. They just got the starter kit, so they get to qualified recruit. I love to reward anybody in my Inkspired Stampers group with a $25 shopping spree. So both Erin and Kelly, let me know what you would like. You can shop now, or if you wanna hold off and get stuff from the new catalog, you can do that. I'm flexible like that. So let me know. The other awesome thing is, because they did that so quickly, getting to $900 in sales, they reached the first what's called quick start level, which is kind of like a promotion that Stampin' Up! does for new demonstrators. So they get a whole bunch of flex points. They get 5,000 flex points from Stampin' Up! for reaching the first quick start level. And what do you do with flex points? You get more free product. There are other things that you can get, but most people get use, um, use those flex points on free products. So congratulations to Erin and Kelly. That was awesome. You guys are rocking it out, right? So yes, and Sharon's doing the little, it looks like, oh, it's like a fun party, woo! <laughs> so super cute. Um, okay, let's see, what else are we gonna do? All right, I gotta check my notes. Things, I think I already went out of order, so now I'm like, oh, I'm all mixed up. Isn't that crazy? Okay, yeah, I think we're good. Do, 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 we already talked about the retiring list, okay. So let's do our other drawing, right? So this is for anyone that put an online order in last week of at least $30. Everybody, whoever put an online order in gets the make and takes or the completed cards that I did on last week's Facebook Live. So I will be emailing if I haven't done it already. I've either emailed you or I will be to ask you, do you want finished cards or do you want make and takes from last week, right? You are also getting your name in the drawing to win the super cute, this is the Hoot Hoot Hooray stamp set. And if you bumped your order up to $50, you got to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial with 16 projects, all in color, step-by-step, um, -step, everything you need to know on how to make the projects, or you can pick the free embellishment, which is the new Gilded Gems. And I have to make sure that I zoom in. I can't, actually, I think it was like glary last week, so you can see them better. So these are new, brand new, in our next annual catalog, but you can order them right now if you are interested. Um, that's as part of the Ornate Garden Suite that you can order already, right? So. That was the deal, $50 order, they got to pick either one of those. So 
I know, I think I make things kind of complicated. I just kind of, excuse me, kind of keep throwing more things in there because I'm trying to encourage the online orders and then I'm like, I can barely keep track of it. I'm sure you guys have no idea what's going on, but I do, I do keep track of it. So anyway, I don't know, I'm kind of making fun of myself. So anyway, we have names in the drawing here. Yep, I make sure I got those in there. So if you put your online order in of at least $30, we are gonna draw right now for, isn't this so cute? That little hoot hoot hooray stamp set. Love the owl, I'm a big owl fan. I know I said that last week. So, okay, we're gonna shake these around and let's see I get one one in my hand and it goes to Miss K Jacoby congratulations K I will be sending out the hoot hoot hooray stamp set to you awesome very very cool okay all right so do you guys want to know what we're gonna give away this week where did it go it's hiding right underneath here so this week if you put your online order in <laughs> okay, you are very informative. Okay, that's good. Thank you, Philomena. That's a that's a better way to put that, isn't it? Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, so this week, if you put an online order in of at least $30, you're going to get the Project Sale Demonstrate in a little bit, and your name is going to go in the drawing to win this awesome ornate, I was going to say, ornate floral, not ornate garden, ornate floral. It's one of our new 3D embossing folders. Another one of the new things that you can get in the suite of products that they pre-released from our current, or next annual catalog. So we are gonna use this on one of the projects so you'll see how beautiful it is. Um, it's it's gorgeous. It's really, it's a beautiful, beautiful floral embossing folder. We can always use more flowers, right? So you know what I forgot to show you guys too? So in that PDF tutorial, the 16 project PDF tutorial, I get to show you, I can't show you anybody else's because I don't have them, right? But this is my project for the month. So it's a Mother's Day card featuring some of that pressed petals designer series paper that we used last week, um, the banded dies, and then, oh, I love that ribbon too. And can you see? It's fun. I've been into like um, special fold, flippy fun fold, cards. So this is what's in the April Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial is how you make this card right here. So again, you can get that free with a $50 order this month, all the month of April. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, one last thing before we turn the camera down. I'm trying to get myself cleaned up here too. If you have not already ordered the Inspiring Iris class to go and you would like to do that, today is the last day. You need to RSVP today for this. So again, I'll show you the cards real quick. You get to make two of each of these. You can get the stamp set. You get, what do you get? Some of the um, Noble Peacock foil, designer series paper, the blueberry bushel ribbon, um, I feel like there's one more thing. I can't remember. Anyway, all the details are on my blog, or if you want me to send you the link, I can do that. But basically, do you want to make these cards? Because they're beautiful, super duper beautiful. So you would make two of that card, you would make two of that card, you would make two of that card, and you would make two of that fun card. I send you all the parts and pieces. You do your own stamping with your own stamp set and your own ink, okay? Today's the last day though, so if you want to um, RSVP for that, please do that. Or, um, okay, Lori says, you know, I signed an email this morning and signed up. Awesome, perfect, I will check that out. I haven't checked my email. Sometimes I like, yeah, I check it first thing in the morning, like I haven't even gotten out of bed. Um, I did that, but I don't think it had come through yet. So I will be checking that when I'm done here on Facebook Live. So, okay, I think we are ready to flip the camera down. I will just say, um, again, I truly, truly appreciate your comments, your likes, your loves, hopefully not too many frowny faces, um, and your shares of the video. That helps me so much. Rosemary, that embossing folder is called the Ornate Floral 3D Embossing Folder. That's the name of this new, you can't see it very well. I will be posting a picture, I think, Gosh, usually on my blog, I post a picture and then the link to the face or um, to the Stampin' Up! website where you can see this, but it's not on. No. Yeah, it's on there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'll have it on there too. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, but it's from the new catalog, but I think, I think it's on there. It's got to be on there, right? Because we can order it. So yeah, ornate floral embossing folder. Sorry. See, that's the whole, uh, Philomena says I'm informative. I say I'm like overly like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think we are ready 
to, are we? Yeah, because I'm gonna show you. I've got some other things I wanna show you, but I'm gonna flip the camera down so you can see them the right way, okay? All right, I think we're good here. So let's do that. Turn your heads away. We're flying through the air to do our stamping. And I can already tell. Uh, sorry, bear with me just a sec. This feels like move this a little bit. There. Okay, let's see if we're good here. Flipping the camera down. Okay, we're always at a bad angle. Uh, there's my sleeve too in there. Okay, so now we are in view. Okay, so this is our host code for April too. So make sure you use that if you order online to get the projects I'm gonna demonstrate in just a little bit. In the meantime though, I want to show you so we had our Inkspired Stampers group meeting on Facebook Live only earlier this week, and I had offered the make and takes um, in advance, which I don't usually do, um, but we since we could only do a Facebook Live meeting, um, I decided that it would be fun to do our stamping all together. So I offered the make and takes so that we could get them sent out to people in time, so if they wanted to make them with me on Facebook Live, kind of like we're doing right here, we did that, and so it was really fun. So I wanna show you, the cards that we made. And of course, they feature this new ornate garden suite. So here you can see we made this beautiful thanks for everything card. And this is some of the new um, combo ribbon pack. Um, old Olive, that is some of the new designer series paper. And that is one of the new gilded gems. And of course, that is the ornate thanks stamp set. So we made that one. And then we did this cute thank you, another one of the stamps in there, this is the other ribbon. So you can see these are the two colors of ribbon that you get. And what else was I gonna tell you about? Oh, this is one of the ornate border, I think it is. Let me make sure that that's what they're called. Yeah, the ornate borders dies. So I love just that cute little, can you see just that little scallopy? detail there. Mint macaron card base with this one. Another one of the gilded gems right there too. And then this one I'm going to cover up my smudge. But this is what I wanted to show you. So there's the embossing folder, Rosemary, the ornate floral 3D embossing folder. Isn't that so pretty? I think this looks like, I feel like um, someone gave me um, a really soft like white baby blanket when my son Cade was born. And this, I don't know why, it just, it looks like a baby blanket to me. It just reminds me of that. So I love that, um, especially embossed on the white. I don't know what it is. It's very striking. Some more of the gilded gems, some more of the ribbon, and then there is another um, sentiment from the Ornate Thanks stamp set that you're amazing, right? And then lastly, we made this fun one that says, why thanks, my friend. So some more of the beautiful, I think I featured that designer series paper on pretty much all of them. They are all beautiful, aren't they? Thank you. Oh, wait, let's see. There was a comment I missed. Um, I tried to order the border die, but couldn't. Yeah, so I did notice that, Sharon, that both sets of the dies are on back order. Um, I feel like maybe you should be able to order, but they just won't be coming with the rest of your order. That was my understanding, but maybe it's changed. Maybe they've been so popular that you can't even order them. But hey, Teresa, I didn't even realize you were on here. Yes, it is really pretty, isn't it? Love um, all the beautiful floral in there too, right? And then another one of the Gilded Gems. And then the sad leaf punch that's retiring, right? So then one more card that I wanna show you. I always send a card to my top five in sales in my Inspired Stampers group. So this was the card that I made and sent out to everyone. This calls for confetti, right? Because if you get into the top five in sales, you're doing a good, good, good job. So here's more of that designer series paper and then some of the butterflies and then another gilded gem. So a beautiful pack of designer series paper. The gilded gems are awesome. The ribbon is awesome. The stamp sets are awesome. The dies are awesome. Basically, I think the new annual catalog is going to be awesome, right? <laughs> I've been hearing that. I, you guys, I have peeked at a couple of different things that I wondered about, but I have not had time yet to sit and like flip page by page. You can't really, it's virtually, you know, in a PDF, but Anyway, a bunch of my other downline have gotten on. They're already commenting about all the great things in there. So we'll be showing those. I'll be able to pre-order the beginning of May. So in May, then I'll be showing you some new stuff. But in the meantime, we have new stuff, right? Okay, so I think, yeah, I think we're ready to do our stamping. 
Okay, so this first one, let me show you. I am loving, okay, so Sharon was saying, or I was able to order the bundle with the ornate layers dies, gotcha. Okay, good, so you got one of them anyway, right? Okay, so here, this is that embossing folder again, right there, and then this is a fun, I saw this fold on a card um, that was shared somewhere anyway. I can't even remember who shared it, but I thought, oh, I'm gonna do that with this new set of products that I wanna show you guys. So let me tell you how you can make this card too. We'll set that right up there. Um, okay, let's see, what do we have? I have all my stuff here, trying to decide what do I need first and next and whatever. Okay, I know I need those ink pads. Um, let's do, <laughs> okay, because I know I need my die cutting machine, so I'm trying to give myself space. You know, I always like, <laughs> I always pile everything up so much. But okay, let me give you dimensions. So this is a little bit different card base than we normally have. So let me show you how this works. Okay, so it's still kind of a half a sheet of cardstock. So I think I started with along the 11 inch side, I just literally cut it off at eight and a quarter inches, okay? And then I also cut it in half along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches. So this card base measures four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And then I did still score it along what was halfway of 11 inches at five and a half, okay? So four and a quarter by eight and a quarter scored at five and a half. That's how you make the card base, okay? Then we have, and I'll show you. So that's just gonna fold right in there. So the card base is kind of opposite. Hey, Miss Diana, hello, hello, welcome. And then this is a piece of Whisper White cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter inches. And that's the piece that's gonna go right there that we are gonna emboss, okay? Then we have this piece of early espresso cardstock, which is this one right here that folds in like that. So this piece starts at two and three quarter by seven and a half, and then we score it at three and three quarters, okay? So that's gonna go, that's that piece right there, okay? Then I think the only, well, actually you need two more measurements. These are just scrap pieces, but yep, that's that one. Okay, so this white piece right here measures two and a half by three and a half. And then your designer series paper, that piece right there measures two and a half by four. And again, all of these measurements will be on my blog this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com, along with item codes for everything that we're using here. So Rosemary, if you don't already know, I will give you the number, actually I'll give it to you right now, 152725, but that'll be listed on my blog, everything that we use on this card too, okay? Then I just have a couple of scrap pieces of Whisper White and Crushed Curry cardstock to do our die cutting right here, okay? So let's do that. We're gonna do our stamping. So this stamp set is like a build your own kind of thing if you haven't. Hey, Miss Roseanne, how are you? I have your order out on the porch if you wanna stop by and pick it up. And if anybody else is listening, I'm trying to think of who else's orders are out there, but stop by, they're out there. Um, okay, so this stamp set, you can kind of build, right? Like my favorite one is the, where is this one? Where is it? Uh, why thanks, my friend. So you just grab the little Y from here, the thanks and my friend. So it's three different stamps. You can just build them right up on your clear block. So in this case, I did thanks, you're amazing. So these are separate and they just peel off. And the, so I would suggest put these on, ink it up, stamp on scratch paper to make sure you like, you know, that one isn't like angled funny, you know what I mean? So that they look good together when you stamp them. So I'm pretty sure that one is good, I hope. <laughs> but you know, as I say that, maybe I will grab a scratch piece of paper and let's make sure. So we need some early espresso ink. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so we've got, thanks, you're amazing. Nice easy tap, tap, tap. And I'm gonna stamp that right in here. Well, that didn't work at all, did it? So. That's when you grab this piece. Okay, we're gonna try that again. I think it looks like it's lined up well, but let's see. And I'm gonna press 
That's better. Okay, everything is lined up. It looks good, okay? So now I'm gonna put my Whisper White piece right on there. We are gonna ink this up well. Stamp it right in the middle there. Press firmly and rub. I'm not wiggling or rocking. Ah, beautiful. There we go. Thanks, you're amazing. All right, and while we are stamping, I'm just gonna stamp my little flower from, this is the Ornate Style stamp set. So this is the other coordinating stamp set. So we're just using that little flower right there from that stamp set on the corner. We're gonna do that one in Crushed Curry. So, cause that's all the stamping we're doing here. So we got that one. So we're just gonna ink that up. This one should be good. There, okay, good. Now we have our stamping done. So I'm just gonna move the ink right out of the way in the stamps too. Okay, so now we are gonna do our embossing and our die cutting. So we need that one and that one and that one. Okay, <laughs> I think I got it. You guys got it? All right, there we go. So I'm kind of silent here trying to remember what I read. I'm pretty sure I can kind of tell you, I think you guys all kind of knew this, right? That we have a new die cutting and embossing machine coming out. But the thing is, um, we don't want to hype it up too much because it, you're going to be able to see pictures of it in the annual catalog, but it's not quite going to be available like on... Oh, hey, Miss Kay. <laughs> I'm glad you can join us. You're going to want to watch. You're going to want to rewind and um, check out earlier in the video. Um, and yes, good morning, Miss Diana, too. So, okay, so back to the die cutting machine. Um, we have a new die cutting machine. It's not called a Big Shot. I can't remember what they call it. Um, it will be available at some point after the annual catalog goes live. They don't know exactly what they haven't told us um, for sure when yet. So again, I don't want to say too much because you can't get it quite yet. So the new catalog goes live the beginning of June. So at some point after the beginning of June, you will be able to get the new die cutting and embossing machine. In the meantime, just use what you have or borrow your friends, but don't buy another one because I'm sure you're going to want this one when we can finally get it. Okay, so here I am jabbering on. What do I need? I need my other platform. Okay. So we have our regular platform and where's my embossing folder? Right here. Okay, so we're going to use the new ornate floral embossing folder. All right, here we go. Slipping our, this was the Whisper White 4 by 5 and a quarter piece. We're going to put that right in there. We're going to use our... 3D embossing folder, the blue plate, because that makes the right sandwich for us. One thing I did learn was the new plates are all gonna have numbers on them. So you're not gonna be like, which one do I use with what? They're gonna just tell you, use this number. So that's really a good idea. Okay, so you guys, look at this. I'm telling you, it looks like a blanket that I got way back when Cade was first born. He's gonna be 18 in July too, so that was kind of a while ago. <laughs> uh, but I love, there's just something about, look at the, the beautiful floral, I don't know. I really just, I love it. I hope you guys do too. Okay, we're scooting all that out of the way. And, Sorry, everything's everything gets super askew. I just get too excited. Okay, so let's put things together. I think we have everything that we need. So now I have to remember how I did it because it was a couple days ago. <laughs> you know, when I prep these like the night before, it's more fresh in my mind. When it was like a day or so ago, it's not quite as fresh. <laughs> oh, well, we're gonna do the best we can. Okay, so we're gonna add this embossed piece that one makes sense, right? Then let's put our designer series paper. Ooh, you wanna see the back? Okay, so this is fun. Looks like um, sunflowers, right? Daisies, maybe. And then here is the gold shimmery backside. You can have some fun with that one too, right? Okay, so we're gonna add. 
Oh, did you guys see too? I'm kind of blown away by this, but Snail is retiring. They're coming out with a new adhesive. I can't even remember what it's called, um, but it'll be fabulous, I'm sure. But I was really like, whoa, that kind of rocked my world when I learned that Snail was retiring. So if you love it, just order, order as much as you can to keep your stockpile for a while. Um, and if not, um, if you can't, you just get the new stuff and that'll be good too. Okay, so we're gonna just add this piece right on here, okay? So this one just goes right in here. So this is where you're gonna write your sentiment on your card. Now, you wanna use a lot of adhesive on this piece. So I'm trying to do that there, okay. So what I think you should do Let's think about that. What do I think you should do? I think you should forget about that piece, and I think you should try to center this kind of top to bottom and side to side in here. Okay, so let's let's try to do that. Does that look pretty good? No, I think it's a little crooked. I could be super anal. Other people just slap these things together. I wish I could do that. Right, but okay, I think that looks good. There, okay, so now we're gonna press very firmly. That's gonna go there, and that's gonna, isn't that fun how that opens up like that? Okay, now we just need to put our sentiment on here. So we're gonna add our, oh, huh, Sharon, refills are already backordered. I had to kind of wonder. The other thing that I am in a little bit of a panic about, um, and I haven't done enough research on, but um, if you guys are scrapbookers, um, we're not, I don't think we're going to have a 12 by 12 album any longer and um, the 12 by 12 page protectors too. So if you need 12 by 12 page protectors or an album, get those now. I'm trying to figure out how many I need to order <laughs> and hopefully they're not all sold out as well. I think it's just the whole, you know, people don't scrapbook as much as they used to. So over the years, they've definitely decreased the line of you know, the product line on that. Okay, so these were, we just added dimensionals here, but we'll all just roll with it. Whatever it is, it is. We trust Stampin' Up that they're doing, um, they're doing good things as, in terms of a company too. Um, you know, they have to make those decisions based on sales, really. Okay, so here, this is, what is this? This is a mint and macaron textile ribbon. Hello, Miss Debbie Green. How are you? This is a beautiful ribbon to work with. And thank you for sharing the video too, Debbie. Um, and to make bows with. It's just a really nice, easy ribbon to work with. Because it makes pretty, pretty bows. And I love the kind of shimmeriness of it too. Okay. So we are going to kind of trim our bow. And we grab a mini blue dot. And we are about set here. So you guys all doing all right? I hope so, right? Just kind of keep plugging along through this. Aha, love the fold. <laughs> yes, make a card like that this weekend. Very good idea. That's awesome, Rose. I appreciate that. So yeah, I I'm all about the fun folds these days. We have been doing these a lot in like um, in my downline meetings and classes, and yeah, now we're doing them here on Facebook Live. So fun, fun, fun. Really simple too, but just, um, so then you just have like a little space to fill in. Hey, Sunday, glad you can join us. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. Yep, I'm doing well. Thank you. I'm glad you are too. Okay, so that's one card. Why do I have, oh, I'm like, I pulled this punch out. Honestly, I think I had this punch pulled out so it would sit on my card like that because it kept like winging open. I'm like, why, I don't, we're not using that butterfly punch on anything. <laughs> so I got, I got really confused when I saw it sitting up here. I'm like, why do I have that here? But that's why, because it kept doing that and I wanted it to fold down, which, you know, once you put it in an envelope or something, it would. So, okay, that is card number one. And all right, scooting stuff out of the way here. Let's show you the second card. Okay, we good? Actually, I'm gonna get the ribbon here too. Okay, so, and this is another fun fold featuring our ornate thanks stamp set and the, what is that um, paper called? I have the list here. 
That's called the Ornate Garden Specialty Designer Series Paper. I'll show you the back side of that. Hey, Sabina, I'm glad you can join us. Hello, hello. Okay, so here, this is another, I saw this one online also. I can't remember, because honestly, I think I took like screenshots of the cards and then um, they weren't watermarked, which is kind of unusual, but I loved, <laughs> I loved that fold too, right? So something a little bit different. And so this one says, thanks, you made my day, exclamation point. And then we use some of the gold foil to kind of accent the gold foil in our designer series paper also with the awesome, I don't, I don't think I mentioned that before. Those are the stitched so sweetly dies. I could use those on every single card. And actually these are some of the new, um, I'll show you. They're in this package, the ornate border dies. So you get a bunch of borders. This is that one that I showed you on, where's that card? This one, yeah, you can tell, right? Because it's still got a bunch of pieces stuck in there. Yeah, so, right, that comes out of that one right there. I haven't used some of the other ones yet, so I need to get on that, right? But then these are the three flowers. So we're gonna use a couple of those little flowers on our gold foil right there too. So again, these are the ornate border dies, and these may be the ones that are on back order. So you should, I believe, be able to order the Ornate Thanks stamp set and these dies, and then you'll just get these when they come in. And hopefully that won't be too long. I'm sure they're on top of that because this is brand new stuff. So they don't want to make us wait too long. Although it's the shipping too and like the whole coronavirus thing. So, you know, we just have to take a deep breath and it is what it is, right? Okay. Um, let me give you dimensions. Let's do that. Okay. Because this is another kind of a fun card. Yeah, because actually the card base is just, it's like um, a quarter of a sheet of cardstock. So this, I used thick whisper white right here. So imagine we had a full sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. I cut it in half at five and a half inches, and then along the eight and a half inch side, I cut it in half at four and a quarter inches. So that's all your card base is, four and a quarter by five and a half thick whisper white, okay? Then we have our piece of, this is the Ornate Garden Specialty Designer Series paper, you can see. So this one has big and little flowers. The other one is all just little flowers. So they're both super pretty. And then here's the back side. Isn't that cute? Very quaint, right? Kind of a little country maybe, the paper. Okay, so four by five and a quarter inches and then that piece is gonna go right on there, right? Then we have I used uh, just regular Whisper White, but maybe you could have used, or I could have used uh, thick Whisper White. Either one I think will work. Two and a half by 11, and then we scored it. I'm sorry, that's not right. Two and a half by 10 and a half, and then I scored it in t at 10 and a half, well, in half, whew, at five and a quarter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, all right, okay. Oh, maybe, Sharon, I'm not sure the Mary, what that's about. And I missed another Anna. Um, let's see. You got a big order place before. Oh! <laughs> oh, let's see. I'm going to try to see more that are now. Oh, good. So you got things that were retiring, and so you got them in time. That's awesome, Anna. Very, very cool. Yeah, yeah, because you got to get your, yeah, that's a perfect example. Get your orders in so you don't have to worry about um, things selling out on the retiring list. Okay, so we're good, right? Two and a half by ten and a half scored at five and a quarter. That's what I was trying to say on that one. Then we have another piece of designer series paper that's going to go right on there that goes right up to the edges. So this one is two and three eighths by five and one eighth. So you barely see the white around there. Vina, hello. So glad you can join us. So you can see how that one's going to go right there like that, right? <laughs> Let's see, do I want to, you know what, while these are here, let's just kind of put them together. And then we're gonna do some stamping and die cutting. It's funny, I don't normally do it like this, but woo, I'm getting crazy today, ladies, and changing things up. Because I want you to see, I really need my readers. <laughs> Trying to make sure I have like the same amount of white, but I think that looks pretty good. It's very little, very little white around the edges there. And then this one, flip this one over and we'll put this on our card base. Okay, this one shows a little bit more. A quarter of an inch versus an eighth of an inch is what you're looking at around that edge 
quarter of an inch around that edge, eight of an inch around that edge. And then this, oops, oh, I kind of flapped that around. That's gonna go right on there like that. So let's go ahead and do that. We want to use a good amount of adhesive on this one because this is kind of our fold after all. And that we are gonna put, trying to see where do I have it? Maybe right about there, okay. And again, I wanna press very, very firmly to get that down in there. Okay, so now let's do our stamping and die cutting for our thanks, you made my day. All right, so we're gonna stamp. We need our early espresso ink again. Oh, this is what I needed to do, I knew. Okay, so, sorry, I'm not explaining myself very well. We're gonna clean off the thanks from the, thanks, you're amazing stamp that we just did okay and i need to use this thanks over on another on this one right here the thanks you made my day okay so now i have to figure out there there's the you made my day so this is what i was talking about like you might put that on there and it doesn't look like it works very well together so we're gonna ink this up where's my scrap paper here it is I wanna make sure that I got that on there well. If not, we will clean it off and try it again. And I'm actually gonna grab this too. Cause you know I had that problem last time, right? So we're gonna make sure. So now we have a, thanks, you made my day. All right, I think that looks good. So actually let's keep this. We're gonna stamp this one. Thanks, you made my day. And then we'll do our die cutting. Okay, beautiful. Love this stamp set. I love all the different sentiments that you can build from it, I think is what is most fun about it. All right, scooting stuff out of the way. And let's see here, we're gonna do some more die cutting. So we've got our Whisper White. This was just a scrap piece of Whisper White. And so yeah, these were the Stitched So Sweetly dies. I used the two bigger ones. Now we're gonna use, um, what do I wanna say about these? Well, it's like the third and fourth smallest or the third and fourth lar largest. It's the two middle sizes. Not the two smallest, not the two biggest, the two middle sizes. So we're gonna put that one on our sentiment and then this is just an extra one we're gonna layer behind there. So I wanna make sure this fits on here and it's a pretty tight fit. Um, but even though it looks like it's cutting things off, it actually just all fits beyond the stitching and the scallop edges. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> the fun fold. I know, Anna. Well, you know, I just get kind of bored with the regular folds. I do the regular folds a lot. Um, but there, so you can see how it just, the U and the little exclamation point just fit on there. Yeah. And then we're going to have another whisper white one right behind there. Okay. What else do we need to do? Let me get the card, get the card back in view here, right? So the other thing we can do is we can punch with our medium daisy punch and our gold foil paper. We are just gonna punch a couple of these. I love these daisies. Very, very happy to see that those are not retiring. And then a little half inch circle punch. We are gonna punch. Just a little circle there out of early espresso cardstock. Now I think we are ready to put things together. So we are gonna, with our sentiment here, we're gonna put a couple of dimensionals behind this. Okay. And then we layer that one. Okay, that looks good there. Now let's go ahead and put some adhesive. I'm gonna be careful to not put too much to the edges because it needs to only fit on this flap right here, okay? So I don't want it going off the edges too much. So I think that looks good there. Sorry if there's a wiggle there. Then where's my little, like my little silicone mat for these teeny weenies? Okay, so we're gonna add some adhesive on there and some adhesive on our little circle. Okay, so this one we are gonna layer I love this too, having a couple of these little gold doily, or uh, 
what are these? These are daisies, not doilies, but daisies. Okay, so there's that, right? Then, how did I put that on there? I did, I think I used a little mini. I used a mini glue dot because I wanna get it right on the corner there. White on white, elegant. It is, isn't it, Philomena? With that, um, the kind of little bit of gold accent there. So the trick is now to get this adhered, but still be able to read the word day. Hmm, how did I do that? <laughs> well, there. That'll kind of work, right? And then where are, I need my, what are these called? I'm trying to remember now. I've got just a few of them left. So these are the gilded gems. I need to get another package open. So they came in, this is large, this is medium, and there were a bunch of small, but we used them on the make and takes. So we are gonna use, actually, I think I used one of the large ones, didn't I? Grab a large gilded gem, and we're just gonna pop that right in the center there. And that is it, ladies. And maybe gentlemen, who knows, right? <laughs> Who's watching um, at home these days? So what do you guys think? So we've got this one right there, and then we'll grab these right here too. There, if we kind of lay that on there, that holds them together. So I am loving this Ornate Thanks stamp set. And I do have to tell you, when I first saw this sweet I, it wasn't something I was drawn to immediately, but it's definitely one of those, like the more you play with it and the more you see fun projects made with it, I have completely fallen in love. Like with the gold accents, I love that um, embossing folder. I love building all the different sentiments and you can keep them simple or you can like really go crazy with them too. That's the kind of fun thing about this suite. It can go either way for you. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I'll do my quick recap to remind you that if you put your online order in and use the host code, the X9M4R36Q, you will get these projects that I demonstrated, either the make and takes or the completed cards. You tell me with just a $30 order, then your name is going to go in the drawing to win the new ornate floral embossing folder that we used right there, right? If you bump your order up to $50, you'll get your own package of the gold gilded gems or the demo design dream team pdf tutorial you choose whichever one you would like so i think that's all for today we are gosh next facebook live will be may it'll be may 1st that will be awesome right we're excited to be getting um closer to summer hopefully <laughs> in michigan um you know you kind of question because it did snow again this week um, but anyway, hopefully you guys are all just doing fine and hanging in there and just stay busy playing in your craft room, right? It just makes you smile, makes you happy. Send these cards out to friends and family and anyone that you're thinking about these days and brighten their day with a hand-stamped, handmade card. So thank you guys. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate all your feedback and make sure you comment and share the video. Truly appreciate that too. So see you guys next Friday. Bye everybody.